find the plus size costumes? Ooh, for anything specific or? We don't have it like sectioned like that. It's just okay. kind of like in the line with the costume. Basically. Okay. I know at the moment this is all we have with that. Okay, so, okay. Mm -hmm. And they usually are labeled with like that yellow strip so they're a little okay. easier to identify. Okay, oh, oh that, yeah. I actually didn't notice that. Okay, thank you. It seems like the biggest they have is on one X. I don't know why Samira always puts herself... No, I do know why. Obviously, I know why. This woman is doing it to inhibit people's frustration because obviously, if you're going into a costume shop, as if most clothing outlets in the world, obviously, as something as niche as, as acquiring a Halloween costume, which is only something you do once a year, unless you're like one of those people that goes to Comic-Con and dress up as cosplay and stuff like that, which is a really cool thing to do, by the way. Um, I always wanted to. I always wanted to dress up as like a clone trooper or, you know, one of my favorite characters and all of uh, fiction but never had the financial uh identification to do that but for going to going to uh outlets to try to find a Halloween costume when you know obviously regular stores never have your size to begin with I mean you literally do this every week at this point every week I see two three videos of you going up to multiple retailers and and just being disappointed obviously you're not really disappointed but you always so just oh my god I can't believe they don't have any they don't have any clothes for me I'm only a 7x I'm only an 18x I can't fit in anything what is going on what is this world doing to me you're too big everything in life is too big everything in life is gonna be too small for you okay stairs Regular stairs, too much for you, okay? Getting out of bed, bending over to tie your shoes is going to be a detriment to you. So, like, why would you ever think it's going to be different? I'm going to stores, and I'm sick. I'm sick of the same rinse and repeat shit from Samira. Going into different retailers, and then being surprised. Oh, no, I can't believe they don't have anything that fits me. Every store is like that, Samira. Why don't you just get a grip, okay? And make your own Halloween costume, okay? I did it. I did Look, me personally... Almost nothing fits for me. Literally nothing, okay? When I buy clothes, it's almost always going to be a small. Or it might, be, it might be a little bit smaller than a small because I'm a smaller guy, okay? I am. I'm a smaller dude, right? I don't complain about it. It is what it is. This is these are the genetics that I was blessed with. Now, it's a little different given the fact that Samira put herself in this category herself by eating an exorbitant amount of calories and doing it consistently enough to become big. But for me... I was born this way, like Lady Gaga said. So it's a little different, but I'm trying to relate to you, Samira, but it's just so hard for me, especially given the fact that you made that really, really built that bitch shit ass video where you didn't say anything at all. And then you got your, your pack of dogs to come to me. So like, I tried my hardest and I'm like the most generous person on the internet when it comes to this stuff. But dude, you make it really hard, okay? You don't gotta be a bitch all the time. Let's keep looking until we find a two X. Well, well, you're never gonna find a two X. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. And, and you know what? To be honest, dude, even if you were aware, why does her legs look like that? They don't look normal, right? Why? Did, what the fuck is going on with her legs? It's like they just photoshopped like a child's leg or like a, a weird, wacky, inflatable arm fling tube man's legs on this. Right, they don't have legs, do they? I don't know. Regardless. One X. Another one X. Do you see a two X? No. no too big. Like... That's too big, Samira. Two X. Too big. One X. XXL is not a plus size. It's not a plus size. This is a plus size. This is not a plus size. This is like, this is what you do in your free time? Like, here I am thinking about playing Sparking Zero, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe I'm gonna catch a game of basketball with my friend. I am an honorary black man such as myself. Only hang around with black dudes. Gotta participate in the sports that black men participate in. Which still happens to be basketball okay i don't have to tell you bro i grew up playing soccer and baseball but i'm not latino so i can't really play baseball anymore uh i did like playing soccer i guess depending on where you're from football and uh but if i tell my friends hey guys do you want to play football they'll look at me weird and they'll say that i'm white so i guess i can't do that um but i guess it's okay for me to play basketball i mean i'm not good at it but it's the thought that counts right i'm like bonding experiences with the minorities in my life and things such and so forth and technically given the fact that i grew up in the same situations as them i'm technically a minority right no i guess i don't know uh definitely you know bricked up like a black man i mean big as hell not all black dudes have big penises though i'm you know it's a lot of people out there that do say that i've watched enough uh, black guy, black guy pornography to, to realize that not all black guys, all, they, they don't all have big meats. And sometimes it's not really even anything at all to have a big meat. I mean, if you're literally walking around and you're participating in an activity such as somebody recording you having sexual relations with another woman, and then I'm literally looking at your meat and that shit is basically rope. I mean, great. It's awesome that it's big and thick, but that dude is that, I mean, this thing is literally like, you know, it's, what are we doing, man? There's nothing that we, you know what I'm saying, dude? You don't got enough blood circulation in there. You gotta get the heart pumping a little bit, dude. You're not in it all the way. I get it. You just met this woman this morning, but still, dude, put in some effort, man. I'm sick of looking at this consistently all the time, bro. Brick that shit up.
Anyway. One size fits most. Who is Some of these Halloween costumes are really low effort though. Um, if you're like a teenager or like a young uh, child, this is probably okay for you. But if you're an adult, let's be honest here for a second, Samara makes a lot of money complaining about these companies. I don't see why she doesn't just invest in a regular Halloween costume and you know put something together. Uh, you know, invest in pieces across the, the, the landscape of the internet and then compile that together and format it for herself. Um, that's what most adults do unless you want to be like one of those girls that dress up as like a cat or like a witch or like a guy that dresses up as like a rubik's cube or something like that i guess you could do that but uh, or like a ghost but most people most adults are spending like five thousand dollars not five thousand dollars let me be honest here. it's like it's, it's like a good 300 bucks on the halloween costumes right and you can just keep using it every single year i mean granted it's not like people are going to see it every single year obviously but still you know at least you have it maybe you could do some role playing depending on what it is it's gonna be a little bit weird if you choose to dress up as like I don't know, like, let's say hypothetically you dress up as Oscar Schindler from Schindler's List. I don't know exactly who's going to want to role play as that in bed, but it's an option. It's an option. Oh, Schindler, you did such a great job when you freed all those Jewish people. I just would love to suckle and succotash upon your uncircumcised meat. You know, I don't know. What are we talking about here? I don't know. They don't have a two or a three? Oops. No, Samara, they don't. And I don't know why you're so surprised about this, dude. And it, uh, why does your why does your fan base even like this content? Like every single day, it's always, oh my god, I'm so fat. There's not a single clothing item that fits me in this store. But it doesn't matter. Even though I know that there's nothing in this store that's gonna fit me, I'm still gonna go into the store and act surprised that nothing fits me. Oh wow, it doesn't fit me. Yes, every day, every day, Samara, I get it. Ooh, just like your diet right every day consistent with you sure what size is this oh look a 2x do they not have markers that say 2x it's given they don't regulate damn bro can't can't uh yeah it's given that they don't regulate the 2x's listen dude obviously they don't they don't sell this shit okay it's very it's an oddity for a grown woman to come in and buy a halloween costume in general especially like a day or two out from halloween okay so like what do you want okay they got the 2x right at the bare minimum they got it so go dress up as your witch, uh, RP as that one woman from The Wizard of Oz without all of the, the asbestos um, and, and celebrate it. You know, it's beautiful. Look, a 2 show the, sh show the inequality. Do they not have markers that say 2 Never, Never satisfied for, for some hour, never satisfied. X? It's given they don't regularly have 2X in the store. No oh. shit. No fucking shit, Samira. Okay. The time I went to school on... I love Samira. I really do. Um, but she has a tendency of complaining about literally everything and it's it, it's really fucking annoying even when they do have something that she ha she wants it's always oh it don't it don't look good i don't like it 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 don't it don't it don't really be the best whatever dude. every time it's always something dude so it's it, it just make sure whenever you watch samara understand it's not about her being a piece the the objective is to always be not a piece the objective is to always be mad to to ensure that the people that are watching this have something to argue about Halloween and I was dressed as Little Red Riding Hood because I love to be the center of attention and I was like this outfit is so cute I look so cute in it right and I was walking and then this girl who may I add was also a fatty said Little Red Riding Hood more like Big Red <laughs> What are we doing right now, dude? What What is this, like, personality that you've somehow adopted for this video to make it seem like you're a lot cooler than you actually are? What are you, what are you like, dialing your inner 11-year-old while making this video? What are you, 33? Like, get your shit together, okay? Go pay your taxes and go match your socks. I don't give a fuck that you got bullied that you were Little Red Riding Hood when you walked in for Halloween. I don't even remember even going into school as a Halloween thing. I'm pretty sure that was never even a thing that we had to do. So, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. I literally got bullied for being white for, like, years at a time, okay? How many times? Times can you hear oh david yo are your parents white ha <laughs> or yo david oh man i bet your family eats meatloaf yeah every day every day hey david what's your favorite hot sauce heinz ketchup every day every day every single day and don't get me wrong there were other people that were getting bullied as well for other things as well. i knew a dude that was from the middle east and they would consistently i remember so many times uh we would come in early in the morning and this man was asked a question by another person he said Hey, uh, what time is it? And obviously my Middle Eastern, my Middle Eastern friend pulled out his phone. He said, oh, it's 9-11. Because the terrorist bombings, you know, that, that was the joke. That, that was the joke, joke at the time. Anyway. Little Red Riding Hood. More like Big Red. <laughs> burn. Right Sick burn. Get wrecked, young blood. Ha! Go get good, dude. GG. I was walking back from the cafeteria and I was a little timid little guy back then. So I was just like. Imagine not saying that. 
like about someone directly behind them where they could hear you yeah but well, that's like normal or that's like super normal i remember one time i was in the hallway and uh somebody had squeaked their shoes against the floor right and i had taught we were talking to this guy right this dude that i was like i wasn't friends with him he was a fucking asshole but um he was in the hallway and i said oh it sounded like you know like oh did you fart and he looked at me and he said don't ever say that shit to me ever again i'll beat your fucking ass and I was just like, what the fuck, bro? What are you fucking unhinged, dude? What is wrong with you, dude? This stuff, are you okay in the brain? Obviously, I didn't say that. But in my mind, I was thinking like, what the hell? Like, is this guy okay? Is this guy like unhinged? You can't even take a fart joke? I wasn't necessarily even saying it was about him. But, you know, some people are just really unhinged. And some people just want to flex the fact that they can beat you up, which is really not a flex at all. Um, especially once you begin to become an adult and you realize that, you know, you just call... Somebody call 911, shorty fire burning on the dance floor. Like, I pay taxes. There's a reason why I'm going to call 911. You can call me a pussy, but I'm going to call myself a person that's not going to go to jail. You know, somebody that's not going to go to the hospital. So, call me a pussy if you want to. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of unhinged people in schools in general, dude. I knew teachers that literally got arrested for doing really bad stuff, you know, like all the time. That would, like, every year you would hear about a teacher that would just leave the school because they were, like, monstrously depressed or uh, maybe they did something, they, they fondled somebody in the school, and then you're like, what the fuck, dude? And I don't know, man, it's just, what do you want, dude? It's just terrible environment, so schools are. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's different in your school. My school was terrible. Well, you're not- I mean, I literally knew kids that got bullied for taking shits in the public restrooms. Um, so, like, that's one of the reasons why I am so anal retentive nowadays. Like, I will hold my shit in for as long as humanly possible uh, so I can come back to my house and sweet release that shit because I'm not doing it. I literally knew dudes that were literally getting hassled in the in, in the middle of the hallway. Like, hey, yo, bro, I saw that video of you taking a shit in the bathroom. Yo, you fucking weird, bro. And then people would push you around and shit. It was a common thing. You can't take shits. I don't have to tell you, bro. Saying that? Like about someone directly behind them where they could hear you while well, you're not well you're fat too bestie you're in the same boat bestie you're the big fat wolf. what the fuck Come join me what are we doing here dude what was that woman's entire prerogative dude <laughs> what the hell is your life i have not stopped thinking about how look i get it you got the highlights in your hair you know you're doing something nice what are the you know what are these uh passion twists i don't know the dreadlocks dre i don't know bro listen i've updated a whole bunch of black women but sometimes i get them mixed up I think, personally, hey, the color change in the hair is great. One thing I don't admire is when we start dyeing the eyebrows. At that point, it looks really fucking weird. It kind of looks like it's blending in to your skin now. Uh, what are you, like, RPing as, like, Goku when he was fighting against Frieza? Like, this is, this is how you unlock your legendary Super Saiyan? I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it looks weird. I think that if you're going to do it, don't. In 2018, I had people over for a Halloween party, and I had a whole costume on, and I got too sweaty. So I put on one of my favorite t-shirts. It was an orange t-shirt, right? And a friend of mine shut up a little late and was like, oh my gosh, you're a pumpkin. That's so interesting and fun for Halloween. <laughs> is that is that like absurd? Is is that like weird, dude? I mean, what were you originally, dude? Well, you were so sweaty, you had to take off your Halloween costume. I remember when I was a kid and you know, obviously I was a broke boy. And we were running around with the scream masks or we were running around with basic bitch mask number three from, you know, the Dollar General. And that shit would definitely, bro, they had no air holes in them masks, bro. You were literally taking, you were walking around and just all you heard was the whole time in the mask. All you would hear is, <sighs> you take your shit off, marinated, bro. Your face would be just compact, generating steam. Like steam was coming out the eye holes, man. And uh, I guess it added to the allure of the costume necessarily but it was very uncomfortable so maybe that's what she was talking about i don't know a lot of people have problems when they wear masks or halloween costumes because they are sweaty they don't properly have good respiratory functions uh, i guess or afternoon <laughs> <laughs> i love samira uh tries to be like her interacting with other people just seems so fucking unnatural it seems like the interactions that you see like It'd be like what aliens would imagine interactions with human beings would be like, right? Like this person has almost had, never had a, an actual human being contact before. So it's so weird when the dialogue starts coming out of their mouth because it's just like, what is this? Like, what the fuck are you guys? How, how did you get this conversation in this dialogue tree, right? It's so unnatural. Anyway. Good morning. Or afternoon. <laughs> Can I get a belt extender for my seat? How many times have I heard that shit? And like, it's look at this fucking... I'm sorry, dude. I, I just don't like Samira. I just don't. Anytime I see her, I always, I always slightly get a little bit. 
uh, triggered um, because it's just uh, she's she, you know, I just don't like her. I just don't like her personally, dude. But uh, you know what, dude? Belt expender. If you need it, you need it. And I know a lot of people that sit there and they go, oh, buy your own or whatever. I wouldn't recommend doing that. A lot of the FAA, FAA guidelines recommend that you do not do that. It actually might be against a lot of the uh, TOS on the planes. I don't know exactly, but. I would recommend just going up and ask. Now, granted, you can 100% just lose weight. It seems like Samara's entire life could just be benefited from just simply losing weight. Wouldn't have to deal with any of these problems. And definitely wouldn't have to be dealing with these problems as frequently as they are. But I guess it really doesn't matter because Samara has chosen this as a life path and has doubled down, tripled down, quadrupled down, not only on the weight, but the fact that this is like the life that she's going to live. Okay, just let me know where you 9A? 9A? Okay, yes. I'm going to eat you. Okay, thank you. God damn, some damn good lord, some my dash is big, dash is big. I, like, how much do you weigh naturally, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your organic weight right now? Because for me personally, when I get on a plane, right, I'm 150. I've been 150 now for like two years straight, subtly gaining weight over time. Um, I've maintained about 150 pounds now I've stacked it on a, a good amount of lean muscle and, and you know after that also looking at myself in the mirror for a few minutes and really glazing myself down seeing the beauty that I have on my on my person uh, how much do you weigh when actually it's not even feasible for you like the belt snugly fits around me no problem like I got slack but you know what I'm saying like how much do you weigh somehow god damn are you big I'm looking for a belt extender I was told they would bring one yeah yeah also tell my okay name. thank you Beautiful, Samira. Wow, it's you know what, Samira. It's just you're so you're such a you're such a gorgeous person. You're such an amazing person. You smell so great. You look so great today. Your eyebrows look great. Um, your hair has gotten better. I will agree with you on that. You definitely been doing some overnight conditioner. Some you you got rid of the heat damage. It's not as crunchy as it was. Wow, you really improved yourself. I mean, you're still a shit human being, but you know what? Huh, you look good. So. I want everybody to I want everybody to acknowledge something right now. When she puts her seat down like this, right? And she's doing this shot. I want everybody to know. After she does this shot, she gets up. She gets up or probably has to move the seat back up into a seated position to pick up the camera and hit not record and then lay back down. I'm I'm guessing this is all just for a shot. I don't know. I just just know that this is awkward. For, for some reason, I, I just imagine Samara farting right now. Just like a big... It's really socially ingrained for us to compliment people on weight loss or to use appearance as the basis for any kind of compliment. You want to know why? Usually the reason why we use physical identify physical identifiers as a compliment is because we don't know your Wikipedia. We're not reading your backstory. I don't know who you are. So when somebody says... Oh, I think it's weird that we compliment people on their physical traits. What else do I have? I don't know you. Okay, so obviously if I'm complimenting you on something, it's got to be something I see. So it's going to be probably your shoes or your eyelashes or maybe your hair being very well lubricated. It's going to be all that stuff. I don't know who you are. I can't comment on your brain capacity or how smooth your, your your frontal cortex is. I don't know you. Okay, I'm sick of these people thinking that like, you're supposed to like read their Wikipedia page. Who are you? But I think that when we make appearance more neutral and we stop using it as a sole point of praise, we open ourselves up to some more genuine observations of the people around us. I think that's a bullshit thing to say. I don't even understand what you're talking about right now. It, like, okay, let me ask you a question. Let's, let's do a, a regular scenario that everybody has. You're in line and you're at the supermarket and you're waiting and you see somebody in front of you and you want to give them a compliment. What do you compliment them on that isn't physical? What do you say to them that wouldn't be remotely creepy? Hey, wow, I bet you could write words very well. Oh, that's fucking weird. That's really fucking weird. Hey, when you type on your phone, I bet you don't make any mistakes. I don't know what you, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do there? What am I supposed to, what do I compliment somebody on, huh? Other than their physical choice. You know what, okay, but hold on, hear me out on this. What if I saw somebody's shoes and I said, hey man, those shoes look great on you. Neutral, not bad, and physical. Look at that. You look radiant today. What the fuck is that, bro? You trying to tell me I stench? You trying to tell me I got the I got the bubble belly, bro? You trying to tell me I'll be smelling not the goodest? 
What do you mean radiant? I love the way that you said that. If somebody... You always know how to make me laugh and spending- I don't even know you! Who are you? What do you mean I always know how to make you laugh? Who are you? I'm with you makes me so happy. Oh, we just met, like, I just asked you what, what kind of bread you like and now you're saying all this stuff. Like, what are you talking about? It's kind of weird, like, are, do, are you are you shopping right now? Like, are you actually in the store for just- Are you in the store for, like, food or did you just see me, like- do I have to call somebody? Who are you? What the fuck is going on right now? What are you talking about? I'm radiant and you like the way I say stuff and I, I always make you laugh. How long have you known me? Who are you? That'd be what I would say to this person. Wow. I now also the creepy smile to top it off right at the end of that. Wow. You're so radiant. Oh, my bad. Wow. The way you said that makes me smile. So radiant. Wow. Sorry. Sorry me laugh and spending time with you makes me so happy wow i love your outfit perfume jewelry wow 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 you smelling me like that is kind of weird bro i'm not even wearing jewelry right now i don't know what the fuck you're talking about uh listen the the cock ring i have on right now i don't know how you knew about that that's really fucking weird it, I, it's giving you're obsessed okay also why is it every time you talk to me your eyes like come together like you go cross-eyed What's up with that? Look at this. Like, am I wrong? Watch the eyes. Happy. Wow, I love your outfit, perfume, jewelry, something that somebody picked out rather than a feature that they were born with and had no choice over. Weird. You're weird. I love spending time with you. Uh, bro, we just met, okay? <laughs> Listen, I don't know what the fuck are you talking about right now. It's giving really obsessed. Who are you, first of all, dude? I don't even know. This is my first time ever seeing you. What do you mean you love spending time? How, how, how much time have you spent with me? That's a real question I want to know. You want to tell me something I don't know right now? I would love to know. And of course, it's all contextual, right? Like, if you're friends with somebody and you know that they've struggled... Listen, if I was talking to one of my friends, okay? And this was actually a friendly conversation. And I said to my friend, hey, man... You know, you always make me laugh. You know, you're radiant today. You're, you know, your cologne smells really good. You know the response I'm going to get? Bro, what do you, you want to suck me off right now? What the fuck, bro? Hold up, man. Let me put a condom on for all the dick riding you giving me right now, bro. Jesus Christ. Do you even know how to exist without dick riding? Dude, hold up. Actually, I, can, I think I can smell my dick on your mouth right now. Get the fuck off my dick. What you mean I'm radiant, bro? What are you, gay? That's the question. That That's exactly what I would get after asking any, what kind of friends do you have when this is not conversations that you're having, okay? Even if I was talking to a woman friend, I swear that would be like the same exact thing I would get. Like, what are you talking, like, maybe I just got really shit friends. Maybe that's what I got, I don't know. Maybe, let, let me know down below if I'm weird. Really hard with acne and maybe they've done a new thing and their acne has cleared up and you wanna go, wow, your skin looks amazing, D do it. That may, might not be the right move uh, because they might be really insecure about that, okay? No, they might be really insecure. How about you let them bring it up themselves and then when they go, hey man, you know, I've been really trying this, uh, what do you think about my skin? Then you can go, yeah, oh yeah, your skin look good. That shit, wow. Your skin look good today. That's so delicious. Wow, man. You've been really taking care of yourself. That's amazing. Like, if that was something, that's organic, right? Don't just go up to somebody and be like, dude, you smell great. Like, hold on, no. what the fuck are you talking? Get the fuck out of my face right now before something happens. Like, get the hell out of here, man. But let's not use appearance as the baseline. Don't tell me what to do. First of all, don't, 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 don't tell me. I'm a grown man, okay? I can make my own pizza rolls. You don't tell me what I can and cannot do, okay? Your eyebrows look weird. What the fuck is going on with your eyebrows? They look very thin, but they look like they've been drawn on. What is going on with your eyebrows? When skinny people were like... My bad. Grape. Oh, I feel so fat. But you're not fat, babes. You're I know, I know, but like, that's not... I know, I'm not saying I'm fat, though. Like, what are you talking about? Like... Nobody thinks that they're fucking fat. Like, do you think they're taking it literal when they say, oh my God, I just had like three cookies. I feel so fucking fat. And then you go, but you're not fat. I know. I, I know. I know I'm not fat. I don't want to be your friend. I just don't. Why are you fucking weird? Why are you acting like that? Did you think I was being literal when I said that? Are you fucking crazy? Are you insane right now? That'd be like me and you having a race, like a foot race, and I, I beat you, and I go, wow, man, I'm just so fast. And then you go, you're not an F1 car.
I know, man. I know I'm not an F1 car. Thank you so much for outlining the fact that I'm not an F1 car. Wow. You really got me. Oh, I would have never known. I would have never known I wasn't fat. Thanks, sis. Slay Queen Edges. You really did that one. By the way, that wig is easy to spot. Do better. Do better. You're actually quite skinny. I always, you know, make sure to do my due diligence to the fat community and say, yeah, you do look fat. That's crazy. You I thought you said that you don't tell them that they're fat, though. So, like, what are you talking about? What? Like, okay. All right, dude. Uh, I don't want to be friends with you. You just you, you just take things too serious and, like, you want to battle people on things that just don't matter. It's almost as if you never had social interactions before ever or you're just trying to make it seem like you're cool on a podcast or something like that. It's just not worth it. Like, if you guys, like, why? Like, why do you guys have to do weird stuff like this? Like, you're, like, subtly flexing that you don't have any social interactions at all. And then, like... I don't know. Like, it's not cool. It's not fun either. Why you? Why you do this so frequently? Like, you're weird. Fat today. You actually kind of looked fat yesterday too. That's not what your mom was saying the other night when she saw that fat dick. And I know it stings. I was talking to my fat friend. Only thing that stings is that yeast infection because of that food. But let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, stop. 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 Today too. So I got turned down preemptively. I was talking to my fat friend the other day. And we both make sense agreed that our bodies do hold us back from doing a lot of things no shit who would have known i know a lot of people would assume i'm referring to like the physical aspect of my weight but that's actually not what i'm talking about at all so my friend and i's conversation was about coachella because <laughs> coachella carries a very heavy mental weight for fat people and pause i know i look like the peanut butter baby but just trust the process so of course the pros of coachella are pretty much the same for everyone you know Hang out with your friends, good music. But the cons are- Who's going, can somebody let me know like, who's going to Coachella, bro? I had not known that this was anything other than like really, really rich people showing up and watching music. Like, am I wrong? Is that, is this for normal people? Are people like flying out there? To, what is that, like, in California? Am I wrong? Are people, like, flying out to California to, like, listen to really, really rich people play music badly? Like, what are we doing? Is that, I feel like I'm, I'm just missing out. Maybe I don't know. I, I always assumed that this wasn't a normal person thing to do. So, I, like, you know what I'm talking about? Can somebody let me know? Very different when you're fat. Obviously, finding cute Coachella outfits is going to be a lot harder. You also have to well, I thought we said we weren't talking about the physical aspect, so I don't even know why we're bringing up physical stuff right now. Like, what do you, okay, I don't understand what the point of that was, but okay, whatever, I guess you just forgot about that, I guess. Take into account all the judgment. and Kind of how you forgot that diet that you were going to be on for the past 15 years, huh? Coachella outfits is going to be a lot harder. You also have to take into account all the judgment and stares you're going to get for either just being fat at Coachella or if you are fat. It's such a niche thing, bro. Can you imagine somebody saying like, oh yeah, I went to Coachella and people were looking at me because I was fat. Like, it's obvious. Like, it's crazy how many people were looking at me because I'm fat. Why can't you have like regular experiences? Like, I've never been to a Coachella before in my entire life, ever. So I have no relatability here. So like when you say like, I was going to Coachella, I'm thinking you're rich. <laughs> You're rich, you got money, you got a lot of money, and you're willing to spend it on things. Uh, but you know what? For me, you know, for me, uh, a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts is probably the most extravagant purchase I've made outside of my house in probably months. I, I, just, like, I just don't like going outside and you know, buying extraordinary things and going to events. Uh, personally, I don't know. It's just me, though, personally. It's not, it's not that I don't have the money for it. I'm sure I can probably muster up some money and go to a Coachella or whatever the fuck they call that. But uh, I see no value in it. Most of the concerts and most of the time when you go to like live events, I know there's like a novelty to it. I know that you're like going to see your favorite artist and maybe you'll be able to smell the back of their neck or something like that or the, the sweat pouring off their kneecap. But um, most of the songs suck live. Like they're never good. And they're never like the optimal amount. That never, they're, never, they're never as optimal as they were when they recorded them in the studio because they were able to mix and match and edit and stuff like that. And IRL, it's not the same. Um, never is the same, right? Same thing with pornography. Like you're watching it and you're going, this is amazing. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. And then you show up and you're like, why does it smell like that? What is it? What is this right here? Why is it leaking? What is going on? <laughs> you want me to choke you? Why? What are you talking about? What? Grab my knife. What are we doing with a knife? You know, it's, it's just, like, you know, you think it's one way, but then you show up and you're like, ah, it's not as good as you thought it was. You know, somebody can let me know though. Uh, maybe I'm missing out. And you're wearing a snippier outfit like everyone else. You're going to get stared at because god forbid a fat person is confident and you know wants to show some skin Let's go ahead show your skin i mean but like you can't be upset when people look at that shit and go Aah! so these are kind of basic things that are not 
specific to, you know, Coachella. So let's go even deeper where I know that only fat people will understand. People sweat at Coachella because it's hot. People complain about walking because, you know, it's a music festival and you have to walk a lot. And it's normal to complain about those things, except when you're fat. So well, I don't know, like when people complain about walking, I don't think I've complained about walking in a good 10 years because maybe, maybe more than that, because like I've always walked for my entire life and never had a car growing up, always had to take public transportation, always had to stand up on the public transportation because grandmothers and women with baby and things such as a homeless man with knife, you never know. But, you know, I, I you had to stand up, you had to walk a lot. And I feel like my walking ability has always been paramount. And uh, I've met around, I've been around a lot of people that really suck at walking. And they always complain and they always go, oh, man, can we like can we catch an Uber down the street? And it's like, Wait, it's like three blocks away. You want to catch an Uber? What are you talking about? No, you're fucking good. Do use your fucking legs. Muster up some fucking strength. There are homeless people there. I just we just literally walked by a guy that was in a wheelchair. He would love to walk with your legs, but he can't because he is white and your Middle Eastern is different. Those legs aren't going to match. But besides that using the legs is a good thing and it sucks when i see people that are just not in shape enough to even optimally use their legs in a in a regular way and they're complaining about just walking in general a skinny person might say you know i'm tired of walking or i'm well, i wouldn't say that it depends on, i mean how how many miles are you actually watching like if i'm being honest with you i probably would be tired of walking give me like six seven miles i think it probably six seven miles i might start feeling something Probably six, seven miles. I can comfortably walk two miles, two miles, three miles. I'm comfortable. I'm good. No problem at all. Depending on the heat, depending on that. Um, but if we're talking about like, you know, the lactic acid building up in my legs, I'm probably not feeling that until like the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth mile. I'm literally, I'm good. Like I'm, 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 I'm really good. My cardio is fantastic. Um, so I, I, I don't know, like maybe for most people it's less than that. I don't know. Somebody let me know down, down below. Maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. Sweating a lot. But when you say the exact same thing, maybe no one says anything. Oh. Well, the difference, like if somebody was thin and they're tired of walking, it's probably for another reason compared to you where if you're fat and you're tired of walking, it's because you're fat. Overtly fat phobic. Like you got more, you got like more leg, you know, like the, the earth is, the gravity is pushing down on you harder, you know. But typically there's a very drastic energy shift and i know my fellow fats know exactly what i'm talking about so because of all those things the mental weight is just super heavy it's but what about the physical weight though that seems to be what's mainly bothering you especially if we're talking about the weight and your lack of walking my fellow fats and the stench you know what i'm saying the know exactly what i'm talking about so because of all those things the mental weight is just super heavy it's easier to just not go Pardon. true <laughs> don't go because guess what why would i lose weight and make it better for myself when I could just not go to things. Blow your mind. Crazy. Anyway, guys, uh, that was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate it very much if you could like the video, subscribe to the video. All those things would be tremendous, beautiful, and amazing, and spectacular, and all that other stuff. And I really appreciate you watching today's video with me. Thank you for sharing some time with me. I really appreciate that. If you watch the video in its entirety, and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Halloween, because guess what? It's Halloween today. Oh, it's Halloween. Spooky time. And it's... A stream. There's a stream right now, or maybe not right now. I don't know. 6 p.m. EST, whatever time that is right now for you. It is Halloween, okay? As the time of this making this video. Um, we're dressed up. I'm probably streaming right now, and I have a Halloween costume on. Can you guess what it is? No? Well, it involves a mustache. Nope, it's not Mario. It's not. It's not Mario. Or Luigi. Or Waluigi. Stop guessing those things. Those are not any of the things. No, not Cheech and Chun. Not the Mexican guy from Cheech and Chun. No, none of those. Why do you? assume that it's all those no those are down come on stop it's more than that it's more intuitive it has more oomph to it something i relate to more i didn't even grow up on nintendo but anyway it doesn't matter you know what does matter though you and what you're dressing up for halloween i hope your halloween is amazing i hope that you enjoy it however you're gonna spend it maybe you're spending it alone maybe you're here with me right now maybe you're spending it um with me on live maybe you're spending it with your kids maybe you're spending it with your mom your sister your grandma whoever in your life friends family yourself it doesn't matter i'm happy you're spending it with yourself and other people that's amazing 
You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to eat candy. Okay. You don't, it's okay. You can eat other things on Halloween. It's more the environment. It's more of like the culture. It's more of like the aura of what the celebration is. And I'm really happy that you're celebrating it. I really am. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're watching this video and I'm happy that you're, you know, enjoying your life. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to check out any of my socials, uh, make sure you guys check that down below in the description. Make sure you also check on the live stream tonight that we're doing. I'm going to be dressed up. Oh yeah dressed up and we're streaming all night anyway guys enjoy the rest of your night guys 